Hello students, good morning to everybody. Today I would like to explain the vitamins and minerals in the first lesson of 7th class, Food for Health. The vitamins and minerals both are called as micronutrients because we are consuming, we are taking very less amount of these nutrients in micrograms only. We are taking in micrograms very less amount of vitamins and minerals. So these nutrients are called micronutrients. Vitamins and also minerals. These both are called micronutrients. Micronutrients because of we are taking in micrograms, smaller amounts. Our body also needs very less amount of vitamins and minerals. So these are called micronutrients. Next we will discuss about vitamins. Vitamins are invented by funk. First of all the scientists are imagined that all the vitamins are prepared with amino acids. So that they named as vitamins. In the vitamin name there are two words are there. There are two words in the name of vitamins. Vital and amines. Vital. First word is vital. Second word is amines. Vital means very important. Vital means very important. Amines means uh, amino acids. Amino acids. Vitamin, the name of vitamin give the meaning of very important amino acids. The scientists imagined that all the vitamins are prepared with amino acids so that they named as vitamins. But uh, some vitamins are prepared with uh, other than amino acids. For example, biotin. Biotin is the sulfur containing vitamin. So some vitamins are prepared with uh, other than amino acids. Because of this reason, scientists deleted the letter E. In the vitamin, first they give V-I-T-A-M-I-N-E, this is the spelling, they, they deleted the E letter because of some vitamins are prepared with other than amino acids. These vitamins are two types. Vitamins are two types, water soluble vitamins, fat soluble vitamins. Water soluble vitamins are only two types, B vitamin, C vitamin. Fat soluble vitamins are four vitamins A vitamin, D vitamin, E vitamin, K vitamin. A, D, E, K vitamins are fat soluble. B and C both vitamins are water soluble vitamins. The solubility, according to the solubility, vitamins are two types. Some vitamins are soluble in water, some vitamins are soluble in fat. For this reason, vitamins are divided into two types, water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Here is in our test book, they given some vitamins. Vitamin A, Vitamin B complex, Vitamin C, Vitamin D, Vitamin E, Vitamin K. Here is one table is given. We are also showing on the screen. Vitamins, functions, sources, deficiency diseases. This is the very very important. What are the sources of vitamins? What are the functions of the vitamins? In the deficiency condition, what diseases they get? These are the very very important table. For example, take vitamin A. Vitamin A, what are the functions of vitamin A? Health of eye, hair and skin. Resources. Where the A vitamin is available, carrot, moringa, milk products, liver oils, all these are the sources. Deficiency of diseases. Deficiency and lack of this vitamin causes some diseases. Dry eyes, night blindness, cornea failure, these are the diseases. Night blindness. At night time they cannot visible anything. So this is called night blindness. Night blindness disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin A. Next to vitamin B complex. Vitamin B complex we are calling B complex because of 8 types of vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, 
folic acid, niacin, cyanocobalamin, all these vitamins are combined together. They are available at the same source because of these vitamins are called as B complex vitamins. Functions B complex vitamin functions. What are the functions? Utilization of carbohydrates, proteins, formation of RBC. Mainly they form RBC red blood cells. Resources brown of cereals, egg, milk, leafy vegetables. Deficiency diseases beriberi disease, fits, pellagra, scaly skin. No, Photophobia, loss of memory, all these are the deficiency diseases. Next, vitamin C. What are the functions of vitamin C? Health of skin, teeth, gums and blood cells. Sources. Where are the vitamin C available? Citrus fruits, papaya, moringa, sprouts. Citrus fruits, lemon, orange, guava, all these are the sour taste fruits. The sour taste fruits are available, rich available of vitamin C. Next, deficiency of diseases. Vitamin C deficiency causes scurvy disease. Next, vitamin D. What are the functions of vitamin D? Health of bones and teeth. Mainly very very important for growth of teeth and bones, vitamin D. Resources. Where are the vitamin D available? Sunlight, milk products. Sunlight, vitamin D is rich available in sunlight because of this is called as sunlight vitamin. Sunlight vitamin is vitamin D. Next, deficiency diseases. Vitamin D deficiency causes rickets disease. Next, vitamin E. What are the functions of vitamin E? Health of nerves and blood cells. Resources. Where the vitamin E is available? Fruits, vegetables, sunflower oil. Next, deficiency diseases. Vitamin E deficiency causes fertility disorders. Next, Vitamin K. What are the functions of Vitamin K? Help in clotting of blood when we get wounded. When we get wounded, the blood comes out. The blood clotting, the main function is going on under Vitamin K. Without Vitamin K, blood cannot be clotted. So, main function is blood clotting. Next, Resources. Vitamin K is available in cabbage, leafy vegetables. Deficiency diseases. Vitamin K deficiency causes the delay in clotting of blood. Vitamin K clotting. Mean you remember that uh, clotting K, clotting K. Fertility disorders. Vitamin E causes fertility disorders. Vitamin D causes rickets. Vitamin C causes scurvy. Vitamin B complex beriberi, fits, pellagra. Scaly skin, no photophobia, loss of memory, all these are the diseases caused by vitamin B. Vitamin A causes dry eyes, night blindness, cornea failure. All these are the diseases caused by vitamins. In the COVID pandemic situation, most of the people consumed vitamin C in the form of tablets because the vitamin C improves our immunity power. By improving immunity power, Attacking of coronavirus COVID is very less to the who consumes vitamin C. Because of this reason, vitamin C is consumed more amounts in the COVID time. So, vitamin C is also responsible for improving immunity power in the body. So, the vitamins protect us from diseases. It improves the immunity power also. So, the vitamins are called protective nutrients. Next, we will discuss about some minerals. Minerals also micronutrients. Because we are taking less amounts of minerals, micrograms of minerals. So, the minerals are also called as micronutrients. There are some minerals are given in our textbook calcium, iron, phosphorus, iodine, sodium. Mineral elements sources importance. This is, this is the table we are showing on the screen also. You observe the table. Mineral elements calcium. Calcium source where the calcium is available milk, curd, green vegetables, fish etc. Importance. What is the importance of calcium? To maintain strong bones and teeth. Calcium is very very important to keep our bones strong, to keep our teeth strong. 
because calcium magnesium phosphate is the main component next iron sources where the iron is available meat dry fruits green leafy vegetables are the main sources of iron functions what are the functions of iron blood production and transport of oxygen blood production blood hemoglobin mainly the hemoglobin contains iron this iron and globin both proteins are combined together hemoglobin is formed this hemoglobin is the main source for the transportation of oxygen from lungs to body parts oxygen is transported by the hemoglobin next phosphorus sources where the phosphorus is available milk curd cereals nuts meat etc importance what is the importance of phosphorus to build strong bones and teeth bones and teeth in the bones and teeth phosphorus and calcium both are available so calcium phosphate magnesium phosphate are the main components in the bones and teeth next iodine sources iodine is available in seafoods iodized salts etc importance what is the importance of iodine secretion of thyroid hormone deficiency causes goiter disease here is the thyroid hormone for the secretion of thyroid hormone iodine is very very important mineral in the presence of iodine thyroid hormone is secreted the deficiency of thyroid hormone causes the goiter disease next sodium where the sodium is available common salt the source is main source of sodium is common salt what is the importance of sodium retains water needed for the body water and salt balance is the main important in our body sodium is a very very important mineral to maintain the water and salt balance water and salt balance is very very important because the water loss causes dehydration dehydration causes by the sodium deficiency and also cramps muscle pains bone pains neck pains cramps all are caused by the sodium deficiency next we will discuss about the test of vitamin c vitamin c is the one of the organic acid vitamin c is present in lemon orange guava all the sour taste fruits lemon orange guava all these fruits containing rich source of vitamin c vitamin c is one of the organic acid organic means it is available in fruits it is also called as natural acid natural acid and organic acid vitamin c chemical name is ascorbic acid ascorbic acid ascorbic acid is the chemical name of vitamin c this vitamin is also called as anti scurvy vitamin because it prevents the scurvy disease so vitamin c is called as anti scurvy vitamin next we will go for simple test for the confirmation of vitamin c aim aim to confirm the vitamin c in lemon what we need we need some materials lemon knife iodine solution paper first of all we cut the lemon into slice cut the lemon into slice take one paper pour some iodine drops pour some iodine drops iodine drops cause brown color brown color put the slice on the iodine poured paper this is the lemon slice lemon slice under the lemon slice the paper is discolored discolored this discoloration confirm the presence of vitamin c in the lemon vitamin c is present in the lemon it is proved by the iodine solution pour some iodine drops on the paper the paper turns into brown color put the lemon slice on the paper under the lemon slice the paper is discolored this discoloration confirm the vitamin c in the lemon this is the very 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 important lab activity children i think you understood well if you have any doubt ask me thank you children thank you very much bye bye